Good morning, friends. Recently, I came upon a video I know that many of you have seen, and it's regarding bullying. And uh, for some reason recently, bullying has had a huge impact on children, teenagers, adults, in politics, in schools, on the workplace, everywhere. In this particular video that I'm going to share that I'm sure many of you have already seen, I wanted to ask if you would share your views because the mother is asking, what do I do? So she's asking for a community to reach out and ask if they can give their opinions. And she said, yes, I need your opinions. She wants you to share what should she do. Her baby is at the point of wanting to commit suicide. At the end of this video, I'm going to share websites for bullying and for suicide. If you would, please watch this video. school witnessed a bullying episode, rang the principal, and I want people to know, parents, educators, teachers, this is the effect that Give bullying me a has. Do do. This is what bullying does. So can you please educate your children, your families, your friends, because all it takes is for one more instant, and you wonder why kids are killing themselves. Give me a right now. has on a nine-year-old kid that just wants to go to school, get an education, have fun, but every single freaking day something happens. Another episode, another bullying, another taunt, another name calling. So is there any advice or support or anything that other parents or, you know, families have done to help raise disability awareness and education within the school so that this doesn't happen? I've got some good advice, but I need more because this is the effect of bullying. This is what it's doing. And I want people to know how much it is hurting us as a family. I want people to educate their children. The whole anti-bullying shit isn't working. And I've got a son that is suicidal almost every single day. Every time there's a triggering... Anything that happens at school or in public, which is almost every time we're in public and we're about to head into a shopping centre now. And I wish that I could record everything that every instant when we're in public or have a hidden camera so that people could see. And this is the side that I don't choose to share. I, I choose to keep this private, but we can't do it anymore. We try to be as strong and positive as possible and only share the highlights, but this is how bullying affects a nine-year-old kid. And I've got to constantly keep my eye on him because of the suicide attempts. This is what bullying does, people. I've already called the school. I've 
it's been several times. Every time there's a new kid that's not aware of Quaden's condition, it's bullying. So we just went to pick him up and we saw a student patting him on the head and making fun of his height. And I said, do you want me to do something about it? He ran to the car in hysterics because he doesn't want me to make a scene at the school. And God knows I will. Me and his sister were there. And we wanted to do something right there and then, but he wanted to come home. And now we have to deal with this. And I feel like I'm failing as a parent. I feel like the education system's failing. It is bloody hot as hell. And he was just on the basketball court having fun with the Brisbane Bullets. And it's the constant bullying, the name calling, like obviously pointing out his difference. So now we have a very severely suicidal child who's sick of the bullying. That is every single day that he attends school or is in public. It's every single day and we're sick of it. So I just want people to know and see the impact because this could be your child or your child could be the bully that pushes a kid over the edge and God forbid we lose another child to suicide because of the bullying. So any suggestions or advice would be greatly appreciated. So we're f***ing over dealing with this every single f***ing day of our lives. Anything you want to say before we go? I want to kill you, darling! So the next person that does bully or harass or discriminate against him better watch the f*** out, I'm serious. This ain't no joke no more, you better educate yourselves and your family and friends. Start doing something more in your schools, in your families, in the communities about disability awareness and education because there is not enough, obviously. This should not be happening. This kid is with me 24-7, he lasted first term last year. And was with me 24-7 every single day, every single night he's with me because of the issues that bullying is causing. The negative public attention, which is why we've chosen to be more private now, but there's no escape in it. This is our reality. This, you know, and it's like we have to get used to it. And I used to tell him, just ignore it. Well, no, f***ing ignoring it doesn't solve the problem. How does that address bullying if you choose to ignore it? It needs to be addressed straight away, and that's exactly what I'm doing now. Every time it happens, I'll be doing a live video so that people know. So hopefully we can make some changes so that this doesn't happen to another family, and hopefully we don't lose another young, innocent life to bullying. <clears throat> so now everyone you heard the mother ask what do we do would you please give us some advice you guys if you know someone who is bullying someone because they're different and different can be your race it could be your height could be your I don't know it's everything makes you different your size how big your feet are how long your legs are the way you speak the way your face is constructed everything makes us different what's wrong with being different this has to stop you saw the hurt in this little boy's eyes and you could hear the pain in the mother's voice. Bullying is real. I've been bullied. You've been bullied. 
We've all been bullied in one way or another. Bullying can occur any place, you guys. My fear is that the one who's doing the bullying is going to experience karma. However, the one who is being bullied may get to the point where they're not going to take it anymore. And they may surprise the one who's doing the bullying. Each case can be severe, but it can be stopped. For me, my advice to the child would be to run and go tell somebody who's going to listen. Don't be afraid because that's what it is. You get afraid because bullies threaten you and they tell you they're going to hurt you. Just put all that aside. Run and tell a friend, tell an adult, tell a family member. Go run and tell to the one who is being bullied. To the guardian of the one that's being bullied. I would try to seek immediate family therapy. I would go to your church. I would pray to God and ask God for his grace and mercy over this child and over his life. Ask God for his protection and put on the full armor of God every day before your family walks out that door. The full armor of God. Friends, this parent or guardian reached out for help and it's up to us to support her. And for each and every one of us, stop the bullying. Stop it. Stop it. There are no good results in anything that has to do with bullying. This was so upsetting to me. But we can turn the outcome into good. I want you to reach out and share. What would you do if your child was being bullied or what did you do when you were being bullied? Or even if you knew someone, how can we help? How can we be proactive and help this family and everyone else? Once again, I'm going to put in the description area areas where you can call and if you know someone that needs help that's suicidal or that's being bullied. Little baby, you are the greatest. Remember that. Tell yourself that each and every day. You tell yourself that I am the greatest. And no one can tell you otherwise. You tell yourself you're the greatest. I pray God's grace and mercy, God's comfort and his protection over your little life, my friend. This is going to make you strong and this is going to make you better. I love you and you are loved. I want you to hang in there. Peace.